hello first graders I miss you guys so much I am back to read another Junie B Jones chapter with all of you we're on chapter six today thank you so much Scholastic for allowing me to read these copyrighted books I really appreciate it um so last time we read chapter five um, it was called event number one and event number one was a relay race with all of the kids in room eight and room nine um, and Junie B was the second to last person to go and Crybaby William was the last person to go. Um, and as Junie B Jones was running, right after she got to the fence and was turned around and coming back, her shoe flew off and she, instead of keep like keeping going and, and continuing to run back to um, the class to Crybaby William, she stopped and she picked her shoe up and she held it around and then she put it on her foot and then she ran back to her class. Um, and by the time that she got back to everybody, the race was over. Room 8 had won. So, chapter 6 um, is called Losing. And we're going to see what happens. <clears throat> Room 9 was not a good sport to me. They kept saying it was my fault. We lost the race. I stamped my foot at those people. No, it's not my fault. I said back, my shoe flied off. And so what am I supposed to do? Run in my sock foot? Meanie Jim got close to my face. Yes, you loony bird, he yelled. That's exactly what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to run in your sock foot. I thought very hard about that. Well, well, what do you know? I said, kind of quiet. It looks like Captain Field Day has learned a little something here. Room nine did a groan. I backed away from them real careful, or else they might tackle me possibly. I backed all the way to Mrs. They're mad at me, I said. They're mad because I lost the race. Mrs. ruffled my hair. It's not your fault, Junie B, she said. Your shoe came off by accident. And besides, field day is not about who wins or loses. Field day is about having fun. I hang down my head. Yeah. Only, what's so fun about losing? That's what I would like to know, I said. Just then, Mrs. made announcement. Boys and girls, I don't want to hear one more word about winners and losers, okay? Field day is a day to run around in the fresh air and enjoy the sunshine. We came out here to have fun and get some exercise. And we're not going to care one little bit about who wins or who loses. As soon as Mrs. walked away, New Thelma skipped up next to me. Room 8 is winning, she said real squealy. Room 8 is beating room 9, 1 to nothing. I made a mad face at her. Yeah, only didn't you hear my teacher, New Thelma, I said. Room 9 doesn't even care who wins and loses. Room 9 just came out here to run in the air. So ha ha on you. Yeah, said Ricardo. Yeah, said Jamal Hall. Yeah, said Linny. Then all of those people gave me a high five, because I made a good point, apparently. Pretty soon, the roommate teacher blew her whistle again. The next event will be the softball throw, she said. Unlike the relay race, this contest is not going to be a team event. The softball throw is for anyone who wants to join in. If you'd like to see how far you can throw the ball, please form a line behind me. Polly Allen Puffer was the first one in line. I'm a good thrower, he said. I'm probably the best thrower in room nine, in fact. Linny lined up next. I'm a good thrower too, she said. Me too, said Jamal Hall. Just then, crybaby William pulled on my cape because he wanted to whisper again. That's why. I'm not good at this event either, he said real quiet. I don't have to do it, right, Captain? I don't have to throw the ball. I put my arm around his shoulder. Look at poor William. So there's Junie B in her cape. And William looks all slumpy and sad. Oh my goodness. I put my arm around his shoulder. No, you don't, I said. You don't have to worry about this at all, William. Polly Allen Puffer is going to win this thing in a breeze for us. Just then, a boy from room eight jumped in line. New Thelma did a loud squeal. <gasps> 
It's Strong Frankie! Strong Frankie is the strongest boy in kindergarten! She said, very thrilled. All of us looked at him. Strong Frank Frankie made a big arm muscle. It was largish and roundish. Show me your big strong muscle. <sighs> this boy's name is Strong Frankie. This makes me nervous. That's his name. I bet he's probably a really strong thrower. New Thelma cheered and cheered. Go Strong Frankie! Go Strong Frankie! Go Strong Frankie! She hollered. I tapped on her. You are getting on my nerves, madam, I said. New Thelma giggled in my face. That girl is a nitwit, I tell you. <laughs> a nitwit is not a very nice way to say that someone's not smart. Just then, Mrs. clapped her hands together. Okay, everyone, we're ready to begin. The first person to throw the softball will be Polly Allen Puffer from room nine. We only have time to give everyone one try, so do your best, okay? Polly Allen Puffer did a big grin. I only need one try, he said. I have been throwing softballs my whole life. After that, he picked up the ball from the ground and he winded up with all of his might. Then, bam, he threw the ball as hard as he could. Only too bad for room nine because he didn't actually aim that good and the ball went straight down into the playground. It made a round hole in the dirt. Room nine stared and stared at that thing. Bummer, I said. Bummer, said Nene Jim. Bummer, said Charlotte. Polly Allen Puffer jumped up and down, real upset. I need another try, I need another try. Please, teacher, please, please, he said. But Mrs. gave him a pat on the back and she moved him out of line. I walked over to my bestest friend named Grace. He blew it, I said, very disappointed. Polly Allen P Puffer blew it for our team. Yes, said that Grace, just like when you blew the relay race, Jeannie B. <gasps> That's a really good point. It's a good point. Jeannie B. Jones is upset with Polly Allen Puffer, but she ruined the race too. I made squinty eyes at that girl. Thank you, Grace. Thank you for reminding me, I said. You're welcome, she said back. That Grace does not understand sarcastic, apparently. We talked about sarcastic before, too. That's when you you say the opposite of what you really mean in kind of a, a funny way. And it's it's just a way to make a joke, basically. So Junie B wasn't being serious when she was being saying anything. Thank you. She was being sarcastic. After that, lots of other boys and girls in our class threw the softball, too. Roger threw the farthest in room nine. The ball went all the way to the fence. Room nine shouted his name real thrilled. Roger, Roger, Roger. The next person to throw was strong Frankie. He picked up the softball from the basket. Then he rolled and rolled it all around in his hands and he threw that thing with all his muscles. I did a gasp, <gasps> cause the ball flied all the way over the fence and we never even saw it again. Room eight screamed and shouted and skipped and danced. Also, they hopped and jumped and twirled. Room nine slumped our shoulders very depressed. Cause guess why? Losing does not feel joyful. And that is the end of chapter six. Chapter seven is called skunked. And that, is a term that people use sometimes um, when a team just keeps losing and losing and losing. <sighs> Poor room nine. Oh my goodness. They are not winning a single race and Junie B. Jones is feeling defeated. So is Polly Allen Puffer. I know it can be real, at, at least for me, when you keep losing and losing, it's really hard to persevere and to keep trying as hard as you can. And it's hard to have a good attitude. So we're going to see how all of these room nine kids feel after losing two events. It's kind of a bummer. Um, all right, that's it. I love you guys. I will send a video tomorrow and um, I am going to pretty soon here do a live read aloud. I'm thinking this week very, very soon um, where all of you guys, if you have a phone or if you have a computer, 
um, you can join in a live read aloud and we'll see if, if that works. And if it does, we can keep doing it, but I will also continue to keep doing Juni B, um, with all of you here too. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.